Central Edition of Biz Asia America. Before we get to our regular scheduled programming, we'd like to remember former South African President and anti-apartheid icon Nelson Mandela, who died Thursday at the age of 95. An outpouring of sorrow continues from world leaders and people around the world, mourning the loss of South Africa's first black president. Current President Jacob Zuma said, Our nation has lost its greatest son. Our people have lost their father. Mandela's legacy of striving for racial equality, freedom, and justice reached far beyond South Africa's borders. In his own words, our struggle for freedom and justice was a collective effort. It is in your hands to create a better world for all who live in it. We now look at the life of Nelson Mandela and the path he blazed to bring democracy to South Africa. Anna Naidu has the story. Known as the father of the nation, Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first president after the nation's first fully democratic elections in 1994. As leader of the African National Congress, the continent's oldest liberation group, he was instrumental in bringing down the racist white minority government. Mandela was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize along with former President F.W. de Klerk for their efforts in dismantling South Africa's apartheid system. Mandela, born in Transkei in southeastern South Africa, joined the ANC in 1942. For two decades, he led a campaign of civil disobedience against the white government. In 1956, he was arrested with 150 others and charged with treason. They were eventually acquitted, but he continued his political activism. He later became disillusioned with the peaceful campaign to change the system and embraced an armed struggle to overthrow the white government. In 1963, he was brought to trial again with 10 other ANC leaders on charges of sabotage. They were all sentenced to life in prison. Mandela was incarcerated at the prison on Robben Island off the South African city of Cape Town. He spent 18 of his 27 years as a political prisoner on Robben Island. Mandela was released in 1990 and subsequently led the ANC to victory in the elections of 1994. He retired from national politics in 1999 and made his last public appearance at the opening of the World Cup soccer tournament in South Africa in 2010. 